Premier Christy Clark brought her jobs plan to the Victoria Chamber of Commerce this morning, and some of the people who were at the breakfast were there to talk about the airport, specifically why the province doesn't seem to see the value in expanding the runway at YYJ, which would be a boost for tourism and for the greater Victoria economy. For a moment this morning, it looked as though the government was listening until the transportation minister clipped the premier's wings. Our legislature reporter Stephen Andrew has the story. Two weeks after Christy Clark launched her jobs creation program, she is selling it on Vancouver Island for the first time to members of the Victoria Chamber of Commerce. What we need to do in British Columbia is figure out how we can bring new money into our economy. It's a message Clark is enthusiastically preaching across the province, encouraging businesses to invest in BC's future. But it is clear the chamber has an appetite for more than words. And I'm going to talk for, talk for a moment about the, the airport expansion, something that you know is near and dear to us. Victoria International is Canada's ninth busiest airport with one of the shortest runways. The airport CEO believes expansion is key to developing tourism and trade. Well, I can guarantee you if you don't build it, they'll never come. The airport authority believes by expanding the runway, it will conservatively add another $5 million a year to greater Victoria's economy by opening up additional markets in North America and Europe. And the region is looking for the province to contribute one-third of the estimated $30 million cost. The biggest lesson that I've learned is that you need to have the provincial government lined up behind you before you go forward to the federal government for partnership funding. The Victoria Chamber is making the project its number one priority. It says the investment will create more jobs on the South Island and local politicians agree. The three parts of her policy she put out, let's attract more international students, let's get greater tourism, uh, let's, let's move forward on high tech. The single block for us in the Greater Victoria region is our airport expansion. After dodging the request, the Premier is offering hope. They need to make a stronger case to move it up that list because we have, we are going to be spending a lot of money on infrastructure in the province. We are spending it first in the places where it's going to make the most difference. But it appears Clark's transportation minister is not reading from the same list. It isn't an issue of selling me on the project. I think they have done a very good job of that. I think they have done their homework, done a very good business case on it. The issue right now, as we said earlier, is our ability to find the financial wherewithal to actually contribute to a project of this magnitude. Clark has already committed millions of dollars to her jobs plan on the mainland. And every time, she ends her speech with the same message. For the next decade, every Canadian will say, when you look at British Columbia, Canada starts here. So far, for Christy Clark, Canada doesn't appear to start at the Victoria Airport. Stephen Andrew joins us now live in the Inner Harbour in Victoria, one of the biggest tourism draws on the island. So far, uh, Stephen, the impression of Vancouver Island is that there isn't really much... Uh, in the job creation program for the island. Well, uh, definitely the government is trying to spin this as that uh, the initiatives that they have put money in so far will have a trickle-down effect and create jobs here on Vancouver Island. Uh, Pat Bell will be speaking to us tomorrow morning about this, but the uh, Premier is certainly going to get a rough ride. I mean, she's speaking to the Nanaimo Chamber of Commerce on the 18th, and I expect when she arrives, she's going to get a lot of questions about raw logs, and already the Mayor of uh, the Couch in Hudson is saying he's tired of seeing a truck full of logs going down the highway and uh, also jobs moving out of his community. In a city with the highest urban unemployment in the province. Absolutely, and that's something that she's going to have to deal with. But of course, when she's speaking to these chambers, Hudson, she's really speaking to her supporters. So uh, maybe she won't make it, may not get such a rough ride, but certainly there is some criticism of what's here on Vancouver Island in that plan. All right, Stephen Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.